the following is a technical analysis on the Mexican peso and Chinese yuan based upon multiple daily intervals, weekly and or outer layers of some of the time signatures where very significant developments are transpiring, where currency traders uh, may find strategic opportunities within the Mexican peso and Chinese yuan to speculate on the outcome of the U.S. presidential election of 2024, where both currencies are poised for significant reactions influenced by their respective nations' ties to the global economy, unlike a broad bet on dollar strength. Focusing in on the peso and the Chinese yuan allows for nuanced considerations, particularly in terms of policy, especially if immigration and trade become focal points. Historical patterns suggest that Republican victories have correlated with weakness in these currencies against the dollar, where the foreign exchange currency markets may serve as an early indicator shedding light on a beacon of the eventual winner of the U.S. presidential election and deep diving straight into the Mexican USD, U.S. dollar to Mexican peso denominated based upon the daily interval, and I believe some significant reaction has now occurred. Very technical induced catalyst, which could once again manufacture headlines that come across. And here we are based upon the daily time frame, and we put in a beautiful divergent low. We have positive and bullish divergences really constructed on all three technical momentum indicators where you have the oscillator histogram shining a green, beautiful, infused candle close to the upside. You have health being poured straight into the technical off this bullish falling wedge pattern off a primary downtrend line off the October reactionary highs. And that was significant reaction where we have a validated big break breakout buy signal in correlation of the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average. Those two moving averages have now been overcut and taken out with conviction. Call it going on to potentially retest the 200 day moving average make no mistake about it this is a well defined technical induced breakout here off the daily time frame only increasing the odds for a much higher upside to come and a big buy signal off that off the recovering the 50 day moving average only would increase the odds if and when some of these key significant price resistance levels are retested once again long traders bull traders if and when we were to come across a back test and or retest rejection amongst the 50 exponential and 50 day moving average that would offer the most valuable long trade setup to the upside if not an additional scaling in to the process and or existing trade position for long trade setup up to the 1743 price resistance in correlation of the 200 exponential moving average for 3.4 percent in gains up to 1757 for 4.3 percent gains up to the 1780 price resistance call it 5.6 percent in gains and then ultimately if things get really heated there 1817 for 7.8 percent in gains now taking you out and shifting our focus to the inverse perspective by examining the Mexican vessel to US dollar denominated chart and diving into the broader picture within the weekly time frame, we are knocking on the door of major price resistance of the 2011 major reactionary highs really across the entire sphere here. And that has been successfully defended by short sellers and or bear traders very significantly, which will change the tune of potential exaggerated negative and bearish divergences that could begin this beginning stages in construction of negative and bearish divergences on weekly big time indicators. We are hovering below on the Stochastics 1033 zero sell signal off the 80 threshold line and where a potential significant move could underlie a potential damage being poured in into Stochastics, further declining the momentum and undercutting the 85 threshold would show an early indication that the technical momentum indicators are beginning to roll over. And in the much broader, larger picture of the weekly time frame, we have a, a beautiful, well-defined primary reactionary low uptrend line signifying what you call a secular triangle pattern if and when we go on to retest and challenge the major reactionary low uptrend line offering the most valuable long trade setup to the upside. Short sellers, bear traders, they want to see a solid weekly candle close, big breakdown, red sell signal indicating more longer term damage being infused into the technical momentum indicators, only increasing the odds for a much larger drop if and when uh, some of these key transitioning points are completely breached with conviction. Make no mistake about it, the risk reward ratio analysis lies heavily to the downside. And upon zooming you in to the MXN USD daily interval, and here we are off a beautiful rising bearish wedge pattern with negative and bearish divergences really constructed on all four key technical momentum indicators with confirmed bearish crossovers and the moving average convergence and the MACD histogram beginning to print negative solid red candle closes below its zero line threshold. The Stochastics 1033 crashing below its 85 threshold where momentum is beginning to wane here in the daily interval. Make no mistake about this rising bearish wedge pattern with multiple reactionary lows to help signify the validity of this primary reactionary low uptrend line that is as solid as a beautiful 
big breakdown sell signals you can possibly get here in the daily and full time frame. Make no mistake about it. The outer layers of the daily time frame is infused in every direction of technical damage, further raising the probability and odds for those holding on to consider looking towards the emergency exit doors. In confluence of these negative factors, we had a beautiful, well-defined three inside out bearish continuation pattern, almost signifying the exact same pattern right amongst that key inflection point. And that could, again, increase the odds. When we took out a major 236 fibs retracement, call it the 05855 price support. And that was taken out with authority there. That was one of the most biggest key inflection points and or support levels that has now become resistance. If and when long traders and or bull traders of the Mexican currency begin to base in for a snapback and or counter trend rally, which would be a very powerful move to the upside from here, would again offer an additional short trade setup entry, if not an add-on to your existing position for a further bigger move to the drop to the downside, equating right back down to the 236 retracement for 1.2% drop down to the 0 0.085808. Or 2% crash down to the 382 FIBS retracement at 2.7. Ultimately, the 50% FIBS retracement for 3.7% crash. And then the, the big, big, big key level in confluence of duo price support level is the 618 FIBS retracement right around the 05615 range. And that would be good for almost a 5% crash in which it will rechallenge, which you would call a primary reactionary uptrend line. One of the most major significant turning points of the last two to three years is this major reactionary low uptrend line of July reactionary lows. And that will be the ultimate biggest test and or key inflection point in correlation and confluence of the 618 FIBS retracement for the biggest move of the last two years. If and when long traders, bull traders, giving the risk reward analysis to the upside for any valuable long traders to buy the dip and on a prolonged setup, if and when some of these key transitioning points are revisited once again. Short sellers, bear traders, they want to see a continuation and a bigger breakdown of this duo multi-year price support level to decrease the odds for a much larger crash to come. And upon navigating you to the Chinese Yuan to the USD denominated chart here on the daily interval, the obscured landscape of support and resistance levels, a potential breakdown may have emerged of this inverted parabolic reactionary low uptrend line with potential breakdown backtest reaction. And we are testing big resistance off the 618 FIBS retracement caught 0 0.392 price support and that has a series of reactionary lows and highs really across the sphere here within the beginning stages of taking that key reactionary low uptrend line out where you have this primary reactionary downtrend line of resistance if and when some of these key transitioning points are revisited once again if not an existing short trade position or an entry to that short trade position would offer you the most valuable short trade setup based upon the 786 fibs retracement and the inverted parabolic uptrend line in correlation for that next transpiring move if and when some of these key transitioning points are taken out nice clean big divergent high with negative and bearish divergences really constructed on all four key technical minimum indicators with the statistics 1033 crashing below the 85 threshold you have the moving average convergence testing its zero line thresholds as of now so again the 618 fibs retracement if not recovered by long traders and or bull traders amid a false breakdown and or whipsaw like reaction into a counter trend snapback rally would only infuriate and infuse longer term damage into these key technical momentum indicators for the moving average convergence and much more oversold conditions to transpire within the relative strength index. Long traders, bull traders, they want to go on to rechallenge some of these key inflection points and then ultimately take them out, take out the primary downtrend line to go on to rechallenge these negative and bearish divergences that have been infused, only increasing the odds to rechallenge the one bibs retracement and a bigger move on a false like reaction. Long traders must also defend this big 382 FIBS retracement and the 236 FIBS. I believe these are some valuable and if not minor bounce levels to come if and when some of, their, some of these key levels are retested once again, undercutting the 236 FIBS retracement on a potential unfilled gap back down to the 1370 price level and the 1367 reactionary low price support range that would ultimately take out some of those key inflection points to rechallenge the zero fibs retracement. And once again, I would anticipate a scenario where long and or bull traders might find themselves intensely fixated on the emergency exit doors, triggering a crowded rush towards the exits.